What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share with you today how to have the right mindset to succeed in your online business. But before we dive into that, I wanna just let everybody who's new and everybody that's been on my channel to please like, subscribe, comment, share this video at the end if you're getting any value from it. I would really appreciate it. The mindset that you need to succeed in your online business. That is the number one most important thing you need to learn because without it, you can't move forward, guys. And I'm gonna tell you something. I teach about having the bulletproof mindset. And when I work with my clients, I really hone in onto that. And the reason why I'm saying that is because without a bulletproof mindset, you can't use any of the other tools. And what I mean by use any of the other tools, I'm gonna to tell you right now that this is the biggest misconception people have. They think that the tools or so what's gonna give them the success, but in reality, it's your mindset. It's the mindset that's so strong that's gonna allow you to use those tools effectively, consistently, every single day, in order to accomplish what you need to accomplish, okay? Because you're gonna have your doubts, your fears, your limited beliefs, right? You're gonna have all of that creeping up as you keep growing through the ranks, and then that's gonna hinder your thought process. And that's gonna make you what? Slack on your tools. It's not gonna make you apply your tools consistently. You might not even believe in your tools anymore. And that's why by having the right mindset, you'll have the right consistency with those tools. So look at, it, look at it like this. I'm gonna give an example for anybody who's a sports player out there, especially a football player. I'm gonna use a football analogy. I'm a, I'm a football guy. I like football. So you have your team, right? You got your football players. You got your linemen, and then you got your playmakers, right? You got your quarterback. You got your receiver. You got your running back, right? You got your tight end. You got your playmakers. But I'm gonna tell you something, here's the problem. Everybody wants to be the playmaker. Everybody wants to be the sexy go-to athlete. But in order to be the sexy go-to athlete and make the plays, what do you need? You need a line. You need the strongest lineman to protect your players in order to make the plays. And this is the same thing when it comes to your mindset. You need to have such a strong mindset that's the foundation, foundation is your lineman, right? It's mindset to your lineman so you can go on and perform like a sexy player. So think backwards, guys. Let's re-engineer this for a sec. Don't aim to be the sexy player, aim to be the strong lineman, so that way your, your, your lineman mindset, that bulletproof mindset I was talking about, can support the sexy actions that you can take every day to achieve the sexy results you want. And through that mindset and through that way of thinking, you're gonna see how you're gonna cruise and you're gonna get through obstacles, barriers, through anything that's in front of you. And you can start then applying your tools properly and get the success you want. Now guys, in mindset, there's a lot of different mindset issues, there's a lot of different mindset problems, and everybody experiences different ones. But I'll tell you, some of the biggest ones that stand out, guys, is procrastination, self-doubt, not having the belief in yourself, fear, right? Trying to retain all this information before you do something because you don't feel you're good enough, right? You feel like a fraud. You got the imposter syndrome, right? Shiny object syndrome, you're always distracted by something, right? These are mindset issues, right? So in order to get over these mindset issues, we have to set mindset principles in place. We gotta get you to use these mindset principles and start thinking differently to crush these mindset problems. Now, this doesn't mean that by crushing them, they're not gonna come back. They're always gonna come back. It's in our DNA. It's rooted in us from our childhood, from our experiences. Shit, I have them even before I sometimes shoot some of these videos. But you gotta understand when you get to be the manager of your mindset problems, you'll be faster than anybody else. I call that flipping the switch, and I've said that before in my other videos, in my podcast. Why? Because the best people in the game know how to flip that switch in the most important times throughout the day to keep them performing at a high level. Because I'll tell you right now, anybody that tells you, man, I don't have fear. I'm not scared. I don't have any bad beliefs. I don't have any self-doubt. I'm telling you, that's a bunch of bullshit. Because those people go through it all the time. I go through it all the time. The most successful people you see out there, like Tony Robbins, Gary Vee, uh, Grant Cardone, um, other big celebs, other athletes, they go through it all the time. But they're just great at managing it. So the whole key thing is to become a great manager of your mindset problems. 
right? And figuring out first, which are the mindset problems you have, right? So being, creating that awareness around which ones are the ones that I have, which ones are the ones that present in my life constantly, and what are the triggers that trigger those mindset problems to present themselves in the first place? So the more you're aware of these mindset problems, then you can apply some of the mindset principles that serve you. And some of these mindset principles could be, maybe you have to go out there, for example, if you're gonna be an online coach, why I tell my online coaches, you have to sell it before you create it, right? So for somebody who procrastinates, somebody who needs more information all the time, or somebody who's scared to put something out there, I'm gonna challenge you to go sell it before you create it. Because when you sell something that you haven't even created yet, it's gonna light fire under your ass to now have to go do it. And if you don't do it, you're fucked. So it challenges you, right? So that's one that can work for somebody like that. And he's another one, guys, right? So speed's gonna reward success, right? So the faster you move through something, and you learn the mistakes faster, you get feedback, right? You hear people all the time, companies, big entrepreneurs, investors, they rather fail fast than fail slow because they wanna know that that thing didn't work, so that way they don't keep investing time and money into it. So fail fast, don't be scared, all right? Put yourself out there, put yourself out there in the front lines, all right? Don't give up, try things, okay? And then guys understand that imperfect actions lead to success. You don't have to be perfect. For all those people who are perfectionists, you don't have to be perfect. If anything, those imperfections are what make you unique. Those imperfections are what give you feedback. Those imperfections, it's what helps you become a better person because you learn from that. You learn from it. So you can go apply the things you learn from and actually capitalize. But if you're always sitting there trying to be perfect, you're never gonna come out with anything. You're just gonna have ideas and stuff written down that have never come to life. So don't be that person. And for those who have the self-doubt, guys, I want you to understand that you're not alone, first of all. We all have self-doubt. But I want you to understand that you're good enough. And you gotta tell yourself you're good enough. You're good enough at where you're at. Because right now, I'll tell you something. You know more than the general population person in your field, right? especially if we're talking about fitness coaches. You as a fitness coach, you as a personal trainer, you as a fitness instructor, you know way more than that person out there who needs your services, right? So don't tell yourself you're not good enough or that you feel that you're a fraud because regardless of what level you're at, right? It doesn't matter what level you are in your field, you're still good enough. You still have knowledge to give more than that what, what that other person needs right what they or what they know so you're still doing them a service but you don't stop growing right that's what makes you that's what makes you a winner because you don't stop growing you keep learning and that's where you keep growing but now if you stopped that's a different story but if you allow yourself to keep growing where you're at right now is more than enough to get that person started so don't feel that you can't do something don't have that doubt okay and then the other thing guys is your belief systems right and I'll tell you, there's one big word that stands out in that word belief. And the word, is, the word in there is lie. It's a lie you're telling yourself every single day that you can't be somebody, that you can't do something, that you're not good enough, that you don't have the capabilities. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Put yourself out there. Give yourself a shot. Understand again that you're more than capable. Right? Understand that the information you hold right now is more than enough to help somebody out there. Understand that you got somewhere because you worked hard, because you studied, because you put in the time to be who you are today. So start believing and change those belief system. Unmarry that old belief and re-enter with a new one. Marry a new belief system. Start believing that you can do it. Start believing that you're more than capable. Start believing that you have enough info to help somebody already to get them towards where they need to go. As you keep learning, you can give them more information. So have a different belief system. Bring in a different belief system. And every single day, tell yourself you're good enough. Tell yourself you're more than capable. Tell yourself that you're worthy of great things as long as you work hard. Tell yourself that I'm gonna keep learning so I can keep applying new things for my business, my clients. And I'll tell you right there that all of that will start to slow 
down and you'll start becoming a better manager of your mindset problems. So now that you understand your mindset problems, what are the triggers, right? So we created that awareness. We figured, we're figuring out what are your mindset problems. What are the triggers that are triggering those problems? What are they? I don't know, but you know. I know mine. You gotta ask yourself, what are yours, right? Is it something somebody says specifically? Is it something that you do throughout the day? Is it when you get in front of something and it reminds you of something? Is it something that presents itself due to something else? What does it for you? Start writing it down. Write it down on a notepad, on a computer, on your phone, on a piece of paper. I don't care, write it down. So that way you see and you're aware every time that trigger happens, you take a step back. You allow yourself to sit or stand wherever you are or remove yourself out of that spot into a new spot. Maybe outside, take some deep breaths, move your body, start thinking of some really good thoughts. Give yourself some words of affirmation, right? Change what's called your physiological state. Change your way of being so that way you can have a new way of being at that moment. And when you can do that based off your triggers, because now you know your triggers, you're gonna start winning. Because now you're not gonna allow your triggers to control you, right? You're not gonna allow your what? Your mindset problems to hinder on your thought process or to hinder on your workflow or to hinder on your productivity because you are aware of them and you know what triggers them. And now you know how to take yourself out of that, put yourself in a new state by using certain things, by breathing, by telling yourself that you're good enough, by bringing good thoughts into your head, maybe going for a 10, 15 minute walk, whatever it is to get the blood flowing, change your state. And then before you go back in, you again, you tell yourself, this is what, this is what triggered me. I know of that and I'm conquering that because I'm in control. And when you tell yourself be before going back into that workplace or wherever it is that you work from or whatever it is that you're doing, you're gonna sit there more peacefully and more prepared. So guys, grab, grab this information. Don't just listen to it, but actually apply it the next time you feel triggered and one of these mindset problems present themselves in your life in any situation. And then remove yourself, practice the tools I gave you, Bring yourself back and I guarantee you that your day, your week, your months, and your years are gonna be a lot more productive and a lot more effective. Guys, if you got any value from this video, if this served you, if you're gonna apply it and you see that this is helping you, I would appreciate a like, a comment, a share, subscribe, show some love, now put into work. Let's go.